I have a Husqvarna 350 BT backpack blower right here. The last guy that ran this ran it with straight unmixed fuel. It's completely smoked the piston cylinder on it. Well, guess what? I have another piston cylinder kit right here. It's aftermarket. Yes, we're talking about Chinese knockoffs here, people. <laughs> we're going to put this aftermarket piston cylinder on this backpack blower. We're going to run it for a while, and then we are going to take the cylinder back off again so we can see what happened in there. This is going to be very interesting. Stay tuned. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. Thanks for coming back. My website's right there at the bottom of the screen as usual. If you want to have a look at that one day, check it out. Look at this. This is what came in that box. We got a piston. We have a cylinder. We have the rings for the piston. We have the C-clips. We have the four gaskets, the piston pin, all that stuff. Everything we need. We're going to use every part of this on this repair right here. So, I started taking it apart. As you can see, I got the cover off, I got the carburetor off, I have the muffler off. I have to show you what I'm looking at through the, through the exhaust port right now. Look at this. As I pull that up and down, can you see that? That piston is absolutely destroyed. This is awesome. I love to see that, to be honest with you. The guy who actually uh, owned this and ran straight gas through it, yeah, he's not going to like to see that. But uh, here we go. Give me a couple more minutes. I'm going to pull the cylinder off, and we're going to get the piston cylinder, the new piston cylinder, back on, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so I just got the new piston cylinder on here, but I have to show you this. Right through the exhaust port again, because you saw what the last one looked like. Check this out. Look at that what a difference that is that's what it should look like you know those, see those little streaky things up and down that's just the assembly oil that i use to install this thing it's because i haven't ran it yet there's no scoring or anything on there i know it kind of looks weird to you but that's what that should look like i do have to tell you this too this thing has been sitting for four years with the old stinky gas in it and uh, the carburetor, yeah, I pulled it apart. And the diaphragms and the gaskets and everything in here were all hard and crispy, just as to be expected. So what I did is I rebuilt this carburetor with the, because it's a Walbro carburetor. So I put the Walbro spiral diaphragm in this and uh, the, the new Walbro purge bulb on here too. Uh, if you want to see some links, those two videos right there, spiral diaphragm and that uh, purge bulb, and also the new piston cylinder kit that I have right here. Those links are right underneath this video in the description and in the pinned comment section if you care to go have a look. Now we're going to button this all back up again, and we're going to go break this thing in. <laughs> Give me a couple more seconds. Let's do it. Done. <laughs> Moment of truth coming up here. Everything's back together. I got some fuel in there. And uh, what I like to do in a situation like this is, uh, I call it a break-in period. I like to just run it, idle it, rev it up once in a while. Just let those piston rings gently and nicely seat themselves into that cylinder. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go outside. Hopefully this starts and we're just going to let it run for a little bit. Then we'll take it from there. Purge bulb, purge bulb, choke. On off switches on. We're gonna let it do that for a long time. Maybe a tank full of gas. There's about a half tank full of gas in there right now. I wanna let it go. I wanna let those piston rings seat in and everything. We just broke this thing in for 
exactly two hours. We just let it idle like that, and we just, I went outside and I just wrapped it up a couple times. Nothing wide open throttle, but now we have to use it wide open throttle. We have to actually go use this thing now. April, how do you feel about blowing the driveway right now? Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, April just told me, Steve, you're number one. Thank you. I love you too, honey, buddy. We have a 400 foot long driveway. April just blew everything. It took her exactly an hour to do that. So we got two hours of run uh, break in time. We got another hour of wide open throttle actually using that thing. Here comes the moment of truth. We're gonna pull the cylinder back off of this and have a look. Okay, I got everything off. Here it comes. Here it comes. Got the old bolts loosened. Mm. I got to admit, I got butterflies in my stomach a little bit. <laughs> I'm serious. Let's have a look. Holy smokes. Well, that cylinder, there's the exhaust side. That cylinder is absolutely flawless. There's not even a wear mark on that cylinder. Unreal. And look at the look at the exhaust side of this piston right here. I have to say I would have bet money honestly that there would be some wear marks, not not uh, uh, scoring or anything like that, but just some wear marks on the exhaust side of this piston. And there is nothing there. That is clean as when I put that on. That is unreal. Wow. I am actually quite shocked by this, to be honest with you. I got a little bit more respect for aftermarket stuff now. I know that the uh, original engine manufacturers, the OEM guys out there, are not going to like to me to hear, not like to hear me say that, but that is actually pretty impressive. What can I say? That worked absolutely fantastic. We're going to put this all back together. April and I are going to use this now as our backpack blower for our driveway. Put your comments down right underneath this video and tell me what you guys think. I think this is pretty awesome. Subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up button if you like this. I think that was a pretty interesting test. And uh, share this with your friends. You want to watch something else right now? Watch that video right there. Click on that box right there next. And all I can say now is... Steve out.